4-2-3 one, a little bit different. Harrington down the left-hand side, Birch is out, Riley's into the lineup there. You see LaBrocca sitting number there, sitting right next to Cronin. You see Vicente Sanchez on the right-hand side, Doyle underneath, and Torres up top. You're gonna see, yeah, you see Borch is back into the lineup there, center back, Jack Juiceberry in there. You're looking at two quick guys in Nagby, and you're looking at Esprit down the outside, and Aruthi up top. Next, we saw him strike one from a similar distance in Seattle, looking for Torres. Riley finding LaBrocca, first time inside looking for Doyle, shot at goal, always rising. The body's in front of him. Torres chasing, keeps the ball in play. Ramirez, Doyle wants the ball, Ramirez carrying, Doyle making the run, finds LaBrocca, sizing one up, drives one wide. is looking for a second successive home win, but up to now, it's the Timbers that have looked a stronger. Ramirez to Torres, Doyle in the middle, low ball in, looking for Doyle. And a timely interception from Liam Ridgewell. It's time by both Drew Moore and Sam Cronin. And there's a chance here, and there's the goal. It's been coming, and Portland Timbers have opened the scoring. And it's Gaston Fernandez. His last goal was against the Rapids on September 13th of 2014. He's done it again against the Rapids. Let's take a look at this play. We talked about it. There's the missed ball. Quick, look at this. He beats Drew Moore. He comes into the inside. Look at look at Ruthie. Look at Fernandez. Opening up. Everybody sucked over. Historically, it's not been a place they've enjoyed. Wallace. Back to Fernandez to Uruti. A little bit of space around Schubert. Teasing and testing and a shot at goal. It's blocked by Clinton. Only as far as a spear. The two teams and uh, Schubert. Held his foot there, Uruti, looking to go in alone now for Wallace. This could finish it off, first touch. And it deflects onto the top of the net, and a real get out of jail for the Rapids there. All rather flat footed. Powers. Soyniak is making some movement. So is Cronin and Ramirez. Back to Cronin. Can he finish up here? Oh, some great defending. Bodies in the way. Taking that for the cause of Rodney Wallace. Powers flicked on, and it's wide of the mark for a goal kick. See the defeat with the fact that as they look for Solignac to crow in. Oh, that's the way to do it. to Wallace, is there a sting in the tail? Wallace to Yati, wouldn't quite come down, Jewsbury, there it is! There is the sucker punch, and Jack Jewsbury has won it for the Timbers! Well, let's take a look. Wallace right here, he's got it, he's coming in, you can see Colorado's pushing to get the goal. Tiara gets it right here, yeah, it's a great ball. Referee with the whistle in his mouth. And there goes the final whistle, and the Portland Timbers walk away with all three points. Jack Jewsbury with the winner.